Hello, I'd just like to share a little video clip um, which shows how to get started on Onshape and how to access the tutorials. Okay, so we'll just flick over to here. Uh, we'll go to onshape.com. First thing you need to do is sign in. You say, Steve, I've not got an account. It's okay. Right, so we'll go to sign in. And then, oh, no, we don't have an email, we don't have a password. What do we do? Don't have an account? Sign up. So let's sign up to Onshape. Okay, so you want to be going for an education account as you are students. Um, and it is free as opposed to $1,500 a year. Uh, make sure you use your college email address for that, uh, which is your student number at stu.tmc.ac.uk okay on the next page you get asked uh, some questions uh, about where in the country you are and uh, what you are um, interested in studying so you need to answer those questions um, what do you need to know? Areas of study, just choose something that interests you. You're finished, you graduate this course next year, so 2021. You are in Greater Manchester, that's the county. Um, I think they call it state in the uh, in, in the drop down box there. The college website is tmc.ac.uk or www.tmc.ac.uk. Um, Colleges in Manchester. Um, I think that's everything you need to know for that. And then they will send you an email to your college email address. So you have to log in to your college email uh, through the hub and you will get an email. Maybe check your junk mail. It might end up there, um, might not, don't know. Uh, you should get an email from them. You click on the link and then you can sign in to Onshape. Okay. All right, so here we are in Onshape. Once you've signed in, um, you will have a screen like this. This is your dashboard. Um, obviously, you won't have anything there because you've not created anything yet. Uh, you can create uh, something here. So a new document. So these are all documents. That's what we call a document of project. Uh, okay and okay one thing that's probably worth doing before you do anything is to make sure that you've set up so that your new uh, new documents new parts all start in millimeters so you go to your name there uh, and click on my account and then when you've done that if you click on your preferences You'll see you can select um, your units, so choose millimeters, um, degrees, kilograms, 12 hour format. Okay, save your changes. So that's that's worth doing, setting up your units there. Okay, back to the, the documents. It's all running a little bit slowly. Okay, so. Just have a, a play with on shape, create yourself a new document, uh, do a sketch. In fact, let, let, let me run through that very quickly. Um, so we create a new document. Ooh, very slowly. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that, where were we? Um, Right, so we'll start a new document, uh, document name, um, title document, uh, just call it probably whatever you like, really. Um, and we wait for a moment. Is my internet still working? Yes, yes, my internet is still working. Sorry, excuse me. I'm not trying to edit that out. 
You don't want to hear me coughing. Right, here we go. Loading workspace. So your workflow with this 3D modeling thing is that you do a sketch and then you do something to it. You do a sketch and you do something to it. You do a sketch and you do something to it. So let's see how that works. So we've got planes that we can work on. If we hold down the right mouse button, we can spin things around. Okay. Uh, we can also use the cube here. Yeah, top. To rotate things around for specific views. Okay. So these are our pieces of paper that we're going to initially work on. Uh, you can select them at the side here, or you can select them in the main view. Okay. So and you can also hide and unhide by clicking the eyeball. Okay. So we're just going to do a, uh, a sketch on the front plane. So we're going to hit the sketch button, and it says select a sketch plane, and we see the box sketch plane is blank. So there we go. It now says front plane. Okay. So we can then either right click, he says. There we go. Uh, and we can say view normal to sketch plane at the bottom there. Or we can tap N. And that gets us a nice flat work, work surface, a nice flat piece of paper. But it's not at an angle, it's not skewed. Um, so what we can do, this, this point here, this little dot is the origin, so that's kind of you know zero, zero. It's a fixed point. Uh, so we can make a rectangle. So you tap click once where you want to start and click once where you want to stop. And you see that these boxes are highlighted. So you don't click on the box, we can just type. So 50. We'll see. Is that it changes the shape to what I've just done. And let's imagine you, you go there, you click, oh no, what's happened? We'll press escape to come out of that. We've, we've not said how wide it is, what do we do? Go to the dimension command, select the line, and then we can set the dimension we want. And you say, oh no, no, I, I didn't want it to be 40, I, I mistyped, I want it to be 60. Double click on your dimension, 60. And you can see that how it changed the shape to match the dimensions. So your, your sketching workflow is you draw it and then you use the dimensions to specify its size. Okay, so we've got our, our shape there. We'll just give it a little bit of three dimensionalness, just, to, just so we're not looking at it flat on. So now we do something with it. So let's extrude. Okay, it's your most basic thing. You can see here, we've got solid or surface options. And we're going to stick with solid for now. And we've got new. It's got to be new because we've got nothing else. Add. We can add on to an existing thing we've already got. We've not got anything at the moment. Remove. We can make holes. Or we can do things where things intersect. We won't really be touching that right at the moment. But, you know, we'll be using new and remove mostly. Okay. Faces and sketch regions to extrude. It says select face or sketch region to extrude. So let's select the sketch that we've just done. And again, we can either select that here or we can select that here. And you can see how it highlights there. And then straight away, we've got a three dimensional view and we can set the length by dragging the arrow. We can drag the arrow in the other direction. Yeah. And that automatically updates. We can set the length by typing. Enter. You'll notice there I didn't have to type millimeters after it. Yeah, it's highlighted. So anything I type will automatically delete anything that's highlighted. And I don't have to type millimeters. I can just press enter because we've set our dimensions at millimeters. Okay. Um, and there we are. We've got a box. So now we can sketch again. But now we don't have to be stuck just on the top right and front plane. Now we can use any face that we've just created. So let's do that. Let's press N to get a normal view to the sketch plane. Let's make a circle. Okay, there we are. Just draw a nice circle. Right, I'm going to do an extrude. But this time, 
I'm going to remove some material. And I'm going to select the sketch that we've just made. I could have done that there as well. And I'm going to say, he says, in a second, through all. And look at that. We're holding it. So, you know, feel free to, you know, kind of follow that example. It's, you know, uh, sketch do, sketch do, sketch do. Uh, if you hover over a, a, a command, It'll tell you a bit more about it, you know. Um, you know, we've got fillets, we've got chamfers. Try doing those. We can apply fillet. What does a fillet do? Let's have a look. There we are. Fillet puts a circular edge on something. We can put a chamfer on something. What does a chamfer do? Okay, a chamfer takes corner off. And you can see we, change, we can change the chamfer distance there. Um, or we've got other options we can, you know, um, it doesn't have to be at a 45 degree angle though. We can, we can change the, uh, the distance there. Okay. So yeah, have a play, see what you can do, see what you can create. Okay. And just get used to, to you know, familiarize yourself with things. Okay. The other thing I'd like you to do is I'd like you to go to the learning center. And go to the learning center. There it was just there. Here we go. Okay, so here we are at the Onshape Learning Centre, and what we're looking at is oh, selected courses for experience. Can you? Oh no, okay, uh, self-paced courses. Okay, and we've got several courses flagged with the fundamentals tag. Um, the first one, the one that's probably easiest to to start with is navigating on shape okay after that introduction to sketching and after that part design using part studios okay you know after that have a nosy around see what takes your interest but i think those three are probably the essential ones just to get you started okay so let's just have a look at what um at what happens if you if you click on it so you'll be starting one afresh so you you'll start up here and you can see everything that needs to be to be done there okay uh, we've got videos and then there's exercises to do as well so let's just <coughs> <coughs> sorry <coughs> excuse me okay so let's start let's start right at the beginning yeah um, little two minute video before we begin discussing some of the individual part modeling features in onshape let's take a moment to discuss some basics to feature okay so you watch that to the end you finish watching that next section okay <coughs> again you finish watching the video you move on to the next section Oops, excuse me okay um so you know, watch the next video, next lesson. Yeah, do watch the videos. They are informative. They do tell you things. Don't just skip through them. And they're only about two minutes long each, please. Uh, you know, the point of this isn't to get the ticks in the boxes. The point of this is to learn how to use on shape. Yeah. Right. So we're on to an exercise. Yeah, I've watched the videos. So that's why I'm skipping past them. Um, you know, there's not a lot of point in me letting you watch all of the videos in a video about how to do the exercises right so you'll see now instead of instead of that, that arrow that we've we've got this yeah so this will take us through exactly what to do so we've got instructions there you also need to look at what's in this window here yeah because that will often contain clues as to what to do okay so you just work your way through each slide do exactly what it says yeah use the information here use the information here Remember to read the full slide. Okay, you go all the way to the end, and then there's something to check. Yeah, so the mass properties button in the corner there, um, and then it'll ask you to um, 
answer the question. Um, you know, and hopefully you've got the you've got the answer. But if not, don't worry. It'll say you know, do you want to go back and, and do it again? So it tells you the answer, and you could go back and do it again. Okay. So you know, work your way through. At the end, you get a certificate. So when you've got your certificate, if you want to send that on to me through Teams, just to show me that you've done it that would be absolutely awesome and uh, enjoy using on shape all right thank you very much